Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. We're gonna talk today about the trucking industry and all the messed up crap that's going on with it. I got, I'm not joking, and I'm fired up, because quite frankly, most people don't even understand how important the trucking industry is. So without further ado, let's do this. All right guys, thanks for coming back. <laughs> thanks for not hanging up. Thanks for not turning off the off button. And thank you for hitting the thumbs up. All right, so here we go, trucking industry. Most people don't understand that literally everything that's in their house came to them via a truck. To say that it is the most important in my uh, uh, experience or my thoughts, the most important chain in the supply chain is an understatement. And guess what? Politicians and eco economies are destroying it right now. So right now, let, let me, uh, AB5, it's a, uh, a little bit of legislation that was put forth by California that essentially turns uh, truckers that own their own truck that um, work as a 1099 employee for other companies, right? They've been able to stand up on their own, they own a truck and they're going, I, I want to deliver for you as a contract wage and um, you're gonna pay me a specific amount and out of that, I'm gonna be able to come up with my own write-offs, be my own person and and stand up my, on my own and, and, and enjoy the tax benefits. California's like, no, 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 we, we don't, we want to destroy the gig economy, just like what they're doing with Uber and all these other things. We want to destroy it. We want to make you an employee, not an owner. So unless you're willing to just step it up and become a full-blown company, you're not going to get to work for that. Now, what it's doing to the owners of these trucking companies is it is going to put massive, massive additional costs on their plate because for one, now they, instead of having contract employees where they write them a check, they thank them for their work, and then uh, they're able to write off the cost of that, that check that they wrote them, they're now gonna have to make them employees, which they're now gonna incur HR costs, um, they're gonna incur uh, uh, liabilities like, um, uh, what's it called? Come on guys, put it in the description below, you know, it's a, uh, oh man, you know, that insurance. Dang it, I always do this, see? But I don't have my cardboard notes. I need my cardboard notes. Where is it? Where is it? Still don't find it. It's, come on, it's in my mind somewhere. It's not even on here. Uh, whatever. Point is, they gotta pay more stuff. You're, uh, hopefully people are like in there, uh, Ninja, it's this. I should know this. This is why I don't do HR for our companies. Uh, you know, we gotta carry insurance for these people. It costs a lot of money, yeah. So my point being is that it's not good for the employers as well, the companies that own. So it's bad all around, all right? So right now, the trucker uh, shortage persists as the economy speeds ahead, right? Uh, this is out of the Independent Messenger. Um, they're talking about all kinds of issues where the uh, regulations that have been put forth by all kinds of governments around the world, you know, saying, hey, if you have prior, uh, you know, legal issues, you know, you've been, you know, you've had certain misdemeanors or for sure felonies were just taking your license away. And it's absolutely horrible. You're now telling people, you know what, screw it. You screwed up and now you can never ever rebuild. I think it's complete crap, to be honest with you. And uh, the reason why I'm telling you guys all this stuff, people first off need to be able to rebuild. You know, the worst thing you could ever tell a man or a woman that is trying to change their life is to remind them of their past. Don't do it. Let people rebuild, honestly. Point is, is you need to understand what is literally happening in front of you and understand the ramifications, the absolute insane ramifications it means for the economy. We're gonna be talking about massive shortages. I don't care about, you know, what we're, we're dealing with right now. It's going to get worse. I want people to understand that, okay? You're, you're not even only having, you know, human, you're having, oh, this, is, this is insane what's going on. Quite frankly, it's absolutely insane. You have you know, economic factors, you have uh, biological factors now, environmental factors, uh, but with you know, illness and shutting down the economy, but now you've got also you bureaucrats getting involved and making it even worse, right? So the UK, it was just announced that they are turning around and uh, saying, no, you know what? We're, we're relaxing trucking rules to ease the shortage of drivers. So they're saying, okay, okay, this was the rules to get your license. We're gonna make it better. We're gonna make it easier to get your license. We see there's a problem. Good job, UK. Good job, United Kingdom. Now, come on, America. Let's, let's, get, let's wake up and see what they're doing. We got some problems here. We don't have enough qualified drivers. 
Now I just noticed right here out of the Bay Area of uh, California, the Teamsters Union is to host in San Jose a job fair to fill trucking and warehouse positions. This was just announced um, the other day. And there are quite frankly, an ama there's amazing opportunities, especially if you, you have a clean record and you want a job. Let's say right now you're working at McDonald's. Let's say you're working, uh, I mean, all kinds of different places right now that pay minimum wage. There, you could go be a truck driver. It's extremely hard work, don't get me wrong. And there's all kinds of issues with being truck driver, right? I, I, I have family members that were uh, truck drivers for decades. Hard work. People think, oh, you're just sitting around on your butt. Negative. And, but the, the facts are, you can make a good living doing it too. You can make an honest living. There are amazing Americans that drive trucks that are hardworking individuals. And I'm telling you right now, if you're working at McDonald's and you're stoked right now because you're making 15, maybe 18 bucks an hour, you may want to go check out these job fairs. Because right now, I guarantee you, there has never been a better opportunity in your life to step it up if you're making minimum wage. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't have a lot of time. I mean, you better get off this phone, this, this video, hit, well, hit the thumbs up first, and then run out and start applying because pretty soon, this government stimulus is gonna end, and I think it's what, September? And all those people are gonna come flooding back. And there are a lot of them are gonna flood back to jobs that don't even exist anymore because they've either been outsourced or <laughs> their job's been turned into a robot. All right, guys, sorry for the rant, but seriously, guys, the, the trucking industry is hurting and it needs help. And go, go look in, possibly look into a job. All right, guys, that being said, thank you to all the truckers out there. Thank you for what you do. You guys are awesome. The Economic Ninja is out.